Yeah. It seems to me that there is a real opportunity here to, um, when you talked about having a bigger impact, to uh, create some way in which you can really share uh, information. You know, when you're implementing these various initiatives, you're not only just implementing in isolation, but you're sharing that and you're learning from each other to create What's a much bigger What's the question, if I can, may I just be brief, just the question. So, so has there been any thought to that? Yes, of course. Uh, what's the platform now available, can you tell me? If I were to ask you just offhand, how much has the corporate sector spent on CSR in the last three years? Which hand will go up? None. Can my hand go up? Of course not. Who knows? The God above, if at all. The fact is, there is no such platform. So who will create it? Suppose you wanted to do an education project, let us say in Hazaribagh. Why would you need to reinvent the wheel? There could be other guys who've done education projects similar to yours in some other district which, from which you could take an experience. For that to be captured as to how corporates are doing their CSR or have done, or which are good agencies which have actually done good work in the area in which you are interested, there has to be some sort of a central mechanism which captures the entire CSR space and allows access to everyone to go there and see if someone else has gone there before. That's how sharing of experiences will actually happen. Who will do that? Well, quite obviously, like most things that India has done, government has to take the initiative because that will be a gigantic, humongously big database. And we in the Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs are well on the way to creating it. Hopefully in a year's time, we will have the world's biggest database on CSR. And from the second year onwards, we will also capture the international experience which is relevant to us. So we are a service provider in the CSR, in not just talkers or givers of advice. We're also trying to provide services to corporates so that you can access that database and see if any of that is relevant to you. Very quickly, since you've raised the question, two other points I wanted to make. Today, if you ask yourselves, I need a marketing guy, where would you go? If you were to say, I need a, a, a finance guy or an HR guy, where would you go? You'd go to a business uh, administration school because you can hire. If you need a CSR guy, where would you go? GOK, because there aren't any in India. So who is going to create the CSR professionals? Try and understand that CSR has moved from the back room to the boardroom. The CSR professional today, when he or she looks around, is going to sit on the board of the CSR committee. It's not about hanging around somewhere. You're in the central space now. If you want to occupy that position on the board, you have to be a CSR professional. Who is going to certify that? Who is going to make you a certified CSR professional? The answer is, we are. We are going to produce very shortly something called the ICP, the IICA Certified Professional. This will be a nine-month online course which we are launching in June and very soon we will create a cadre of CSR professionals in this country from which corporates can hire, NGOs can hire, whoever wants to. They can build their own startups. So that's some, an area in which we're doing. The third question which comes from corporates is this. Okay, we've got these 10 programs and we've got a budget lined up for them. Where are the good implementing agencies? There is this trust deficit between corporates and NGOs. Corporates tend to think that many NGOs just fly by nighters, just carry their signboard from here to there. NGOs feel corporates are tugs and mugs anyway. So that trust deficit, if you want to breach, corporates are saying, can the IICA, being the national body, can you actually empanel really good NGOs to whom we can give projects, who have a good track record, can you certify them, can you empanel them? And the answer is yes. 
For the public sector, we've already done that in the Tata Institute of Social Sciences. So there is a very, very strong process already available to us. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. And very soon, the process of NGO empanelment will get underway. Hopefully, that timeline will be around December, January. We're waiting for the rules to get uh, cast in stone, so to speak, in another month's time. After that, these processes of professionalization of the CSR sphere, first time attempted anywhere in the world, by the way, and then, of course, empaneling good NGOs. That process is about to begin. Thank you.